Hey guys, this video is going to be about setting up Plex Media Server on FreeNAS Corral. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Docker, go to Containers, click the plus sign, the FreeNAS collection, and then scroll down until we find Plex. If you pay for PlexPass, then use the PlexPass version. We're going to name our container. Choose our Docker host. Make sure that exposed ports is checked. We're going to scroll down to this volume section, and this is where we choose where on our host we're going to save our config files. So click Browse. Choose your storage, and what we're going to do is create a subfolder of our storage. You can put that wherever you want, pretty much. I'm going to put mine in plex slash config. Do the same thing for transcode. And for data, we're actually going to browse to wherever our data that we want to share with plex is stored. Uh, this is optional, but I'm going to go ahead and set my time zone. So we're going to have to expand network settings and change NAT to bridged. We're going to want to hit generate to generate a MAC address. And we're going to want to give an IP address in our network that's not already in use and also not within our DHCP range. And um, right here we have Plex UID and Plex GID, and that determines inside the container uh, what user on our host, well, the equivalent to the user on our host of what user ID and what group ID those would run as. So with this, basically, you would choose, uh, you would make sure to choose a user ID that has read permissions to your, say, movies and TV shows folder on your host. Um, when in doubt, you could always go with zero on both of these, and that would uh, cause the, uh, the Plex app to run as root. So it would definitely have permissions to your shares. Um, so that's something you can fall back to if you have issues with that. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. So once that's up and running, we're going to go ahead and click on that container. Click the Web UI button. and then we're going to put in our username and password for our Plex account. So once we've put in our credentials we'll be brought to this screen, go ahead and click got it. I'm going to hit the X on this and we're going to name our Plex media server. I'm just going to name this one Plex Corral Tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And we can go ahead here and hit Add Library. And for example, select Movies. We'll hit Next. Browse for our media folder. And everything should be in the subfolder of the data folder we selected, as long as we selected the correct folder for that. Go ahead and hit Add Library. And it's going to start scanning whatever you have in that directory. Go ahead. Uh, you could do the same thing for TV shows, music, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Go ahead and click done. And I'm going to go ahead and skip over to my uh, Shield TV to test this from another device within our network. Okay, so now we're on the Shield TV. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Plex app. And let's see if that server is showing up. It looks like it is. I'm going to switch over to it. It is probably still uh, going through those movies. Go ahead and see if uh, any of those work yet. 
and it looks like it. That completes our tutorial on setting up Plex Media Server on FreeNAS Corral. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.